Hi. It's me again, Margaret. Um, it came to my attention that some people think my name is Margaret or thought my name was Margaret. Mar Margaret. 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 No, my name is not Margaret. My name is Andrea. O-N-D-R-I-A. And I am going to read for the astrological sign of Aquarius. This is going to be my third attempt at um, a reading. And I would just like to say that... It's Mercury retrograde shadow starting today. So that makes sense why. So let's see. What can we say for the astrological sign of Aquarius? What can we tell them? I wanted to know what's coming back. What's coming back for Aquarius? What is coming back for the astrological sign of Aquarius? Because you know... Mercury retrograde brings things back. Usually it's things that we need to get closure on, things we need to resolve, things we need to like, I don't know, take a look at also. Usually that's why things come back. And, um, you know, I don't know if I've ever said this, but if your ex shows up during Mercury retrograde, because a lot of times they do, Don't get back together with them. Don't get back together with them. Someone told me that whenever you get back together with your ex, it's like when a dog eats its vomit. And I was like, huh, that kind of makes sense. But yes, astrologically, it's probably not going to work out. So if your ex does come back and you really want to start something with them again, maybe just wait until after these eclipses and until Mercury is done being in retrograde. If you've been without them for this long, I think you can wait like a couple more weeks and it might save you some heartache. But my honest opinion is if your ex comes back, don't get back together with them. No. Okay. So what is coming though for the astrological sign of Aquarius? What is coming for the astrological sign of Aquarius and Mercury retrograde? This Mercury retrograde that is coming up. What is coming back for the astrological sign of Aquarius in this upcoming Mercury retrograde? What is coming back for Aquarius? What is coming back for Aquarius? In this Mercury retrograde. What is coming back for Aquarius. In this upcoming Mercury retrograde. Fun. It looks like such a good time. I'm excited. Are y'all? Queen of Swords reversed. Aquarius. You're coming back to yourself. After you've hurt yourself. No, I mean, I mean, it could be, it very well could be, um, but it seems like it might be just like another Aquarius, maybe another Aquarius, maybe another Aquarius that you left very fast, maybe another Aquarius that left you very fast. Um, either way, it was a fucking war and it was painful and the wounds are still bleeding. Wounds are still bleeding. Okay. Okay fun. Okay, so this Aquarius that's coming back. Queen of Hearts type energy. Not nice. Careless with a knife. Very careless with a knife. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse that's coming back to Aquarius and Mercury retrograde. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reversed that's coming back to Aquarius. Tell me more. About this Queen of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Communicating. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Well. Um, oh. There's a massive burden. Okay. So what I'm going to say is like. Maybe Aquarius is doing good. Maybe this other Aquarius is doing good too. 
um, definitely looks like they're going to be talking to you. They're going to be calling you. They're going to be emailing you. They want to get in touch with you. They want to communicate with you. They may be sending you a letter. Um, people do still send letters. I love letters. I will post my P.O. box if, if anybody wants to write me a letter. I will write you a letter back. We could be pen pals. Okay, but back to this Aquarius that's coming back um, during Mercury retrograde. I, it really looks like maybe she's independent. She doesn't really have anyone else. Also, it kind of looks like she might be able to take care of herself. Um, she's carrying a massive burden, though. Like, she has enough money. She has a lot of things. It looks like she likes jewelry and accessories. Um she thinks a lot about herself. She thinks an awful lot about herself. Um, but she does have a big burden. And she wants to talk to you about it, you know? No. I mean, she might. She does. It looks that way. Uh, what's the communications about? Like, what, what specifically are the communications about? Why? Why? What's the intention? That was a lot of cards. The tower. I mean, this just looks like a ton of fun. Tons of fun, right? Oh, fantastic. I mean, there's five cards here. And then there's still some on the ground. It's the chariot. It's the chariot. King of Cups reversed. Okay, well, you know, I mean, it definitely looks like Five of Swords. Someone was lying. Someone was playing chess games. Somebody was, you know, getting people into arguments over here. Trying to get people, like, pitting people against each other so that they could win the most. So that they could have the most. So that they could take the most. This is like narcissist energy, in my opinion. This is like getting everybody all upset with each other and arguing with each other but they're all still going to go back and talk to this one guy and they're going to tell this one guy their anxieties their worries oh, took away the happiness the sun reversed four of pentacles the happiness at home the three of wands reversed there's like three people I don't know maybe you used to like talk to this other Aquarius maybe there was another person involved there was a lot of creative plans you know maybe you might have made like some kind of fun plan off in the future off in the distance you know we, maybe we should do this together it would be fun if we did this together it's definitely giving like someone lost some kind of like loving father energy um somebody lost Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, three of Swords reversed. That one is, it's reversed now. So, I mean, it kind of looks like they're having a bad tower moment because maybe this father figure is gone, you know? In the tower card, it's a man and a woman falling from the tower. There's a massive storm. Knight of Rods is behind that Sagittarius energy. I don't know. It's kind of like maybe there's some kind of Sagittarius energy. It's like in and out Sag Sagittarius energy. It doesn't stick around for very long. It's usually pretty active in the evening. But by the morning time, it's gone. Um... This Aquarius that's coming back is a liar. You know it too. Okay. Ten of Cups sideways. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks kind of like... I was going to say it's kind of like they're married maybe. They were married. They are married. They were married. And like the father, husband, that love part is gone. I mean the happy home is gone. There's no happy home. There's no happiness. There's no love inside of it, which is pretty sad. Because it looks like it was Ten of Cups at one point in time. That takes a long time to build. To build. That takes a long time to build. It's not something that you just, you know, create in like 
a month or a year even. You know, it takes a long time. Um, yeah, they're, they're like this. They're independent. They like all their stuff. They got all their gold jewelry and stuff. I mean, it sure looks like they place a lot of emphasis on the money and on the things, on the accessories. They like those things a lot. Why didn't they like the Rainbow Happy Home? Why didn't they like that? You know? The Hanged Man reversed. The Magician reversed. And the Page of Cups reversed. So they're not extending apologies. They're not saying they're sorry. They're not admitting that they could have been wrong in some way. Because they truly don't believe that they're wrong. You know? They haven't figured out the clue yet. They haven't... They haven't done the shadow work. Um, they really truly haven't figured out how the story is actually playing out. They're just going and, and ruling their life. This Aquarius that's coming back. They're making choices in their life based on the irrational thoughts that they have in their mind. They're a master manipulator. They're a master manipulator. Narcissist. What is this Aquarius reverse energy towards Aquarius? What is the... What is the Queen of Swords reversed energy towards Aquarius? What is the Queen of Swords reversed energy? Four of Wands reversed. I mean, this story just keeps getting better and better and better, right? Hold on, Miss Hattie. She's just purring. She's just a purring baby. She's just being all cuddly. She's just being an angel. They want to get together with you. And they want to try to take your home away. They want to try to take your new home away. They want to try to take your foundation away. They want to take away anybody else that you might have to lean on. Any kind of support system that you might have. And they also want to take away anything fun and creative that you enjoy. I mean, this... They just sound like an awesome, like, they're a keeper, right? What a catch. No. <laughs> okay. Um, what's going on in the Queen of Swords reverse life? Tell me more on that. Tell me more about what's going on in the Queen of Swords reverse life. Tell me more about what's going on in the Queen of Swords reverse life. Thank you, Miss Hattie. Justice reversed is going on. I mean, that kind of seems like on par for her at this point in time. Look at her tummy from where she had her surgery. It's still all shaved. It's still all shaved. And she has like, I'm pretty sure it's like they, it looks like they tattooed her stomach. Oh. Thank you so much for not turning it off. Yeah, they haven't gotten the clue. It's Hanged Man reversed. Oh, wait, it is. It's Hanged Man. <sighs> oh, what's going on in their life? I mean, it kind of looks like in their life, everybody else is realizing, oh, shit. It's the Seven of Swords behind Justice Reverse. Five of Pentacles reversed also. So it's almost kind of like this Aquarius energy. It's kind of like they, I don't know, like offer people help and stuff like that. You know, like they want to take people in from off the streets. You know, it's like real martyry energy for a split second. And then it turns into get out. They just want to do it just for show. They want to help people just for show. Maybe this Aquarius 
helped you just for show. They think that they did everything for you. When in reality, they stole a lot from you. Everybody knows now that's what's going on in their life. Everybody knows. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense now on why they would want to come back to Aquarius. You know, because they're mad, you know. And they probably know that you're doing good. So. She's just so sleepy, you know. She has a really hard life. Just being a kitty cat. It's tough. It's an exhausting, exhausting job. She's got to be adorable all the time. All the time. You know. And when I'm asleep and she could be sleeping, you know, when I don't see her, she's fighting evil. You know, she's, she's protecting the house and me. So, you know, she's exhausted. She's just exhausted. Oh, little Miss Hattie. We love her. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to lay you down right there. Okay. Okay. Well, Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Is the Queen of Swords reversed ever going to like realize that you get what you give? Is the Queen of Swords reversed going to ever realize that you get what you give? Like, is she ever going to apologize? I mean, it kind of looks like she's not. <laughs> but... Is she, is the Queen of Swords reversed ever going to realize that, you know, it pays to be nice? That what you, what you put out, you get back. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. No, she's not. She's going to have a home, money, someone in that house that probably fucking loves her ass. I mean, she's incredibly manipulative and unlovable. And she's going to do nothing but hang out and be in nightmares about it and anxieties and worries. She's going to constantly be manipulative. No, she's never going to get the clue. She's never going to get the clue. Somebody had some kind of a reunion like a long time ago. A long time ago. Someone had some kind of a reunion. It doesn't have to be in sexual nature. It's just like two people that actually just really enjoyed each other's company. Like really had fun. And she wants to have fun. But she's not fun. She hasn't figured out that you have to be a fun person to have fun. She's a hateful person that wants to laugh like the person that is hopeful. She's jealous. Manipulative, narcissistic, and coming back, fantastic. Okay, well, I mean, I kind of feel like you're going to be able to see straight through her whenever she shows up, however she shows up. It looks like she's going to like try to call you, email you, you know, communication in some way, kind of fast, kind of fast. Um, She's obviously a really good manipulator because she's manipulated everyone forever. No matter how nice she is to you, just know that she does not have your best interest at heart. She does not have your best interest at heart. She's lying if she says she's going to do anything nice for you. Okay. Okay. This has been another short reading for the astrological sign of Aquarius. Um, Mercury retrograde. I'm going to, I'll definitely do, you know, obviously more readings. I'll definitely make sure to make time to do that for Aquarius, for other signs too. Um, I mean, I will be, I started back to school today. I start back to work again this week. Wah, wah, wah. 
I like money. Actually, I like food. And I like this RV. So, and my job's really not that bad, actually. So, but yeah, I will definitely take the time, make the time to do more readings. And thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for listening to me. Watch the fuck out for this um, Aquarius from the past who's coming back because bitch is crazy.